Hi guys, so um, in this video, you know, I have several items that Diane Press brought to HSN. Um, they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. The reason I'm doing several items, as you can see in this one video, is because I think of these kind of like as accessory items, just fun things that you can dress up cards, your planners, journals, just to have fun with, to give away some of these things I'll show you in just a minute what I mean by that these sticker packs um, just a lot of fun bits and bobs and I think uh, we'll just have some fun in this video with them so uh, let's get started so I want to show you first probably these guys um, this pack was open again I get sample packs so this one moves a little bit open just to check it out uh, and let's see so these are the um, Christmas sticker pack and if you remember with the Halloween pack I believe there's a hundred sets of stickers here so let's check this out really sweet I love that they are like paper you know what I'm saying they're not shiny they're just really really fun I think this kind of thing is really nice for ephemera using it however you like because it just has that nice um, dull kind of sheen to it so Again, there are, I believe, 10 of each, yeah. So this is the first design with all the little snow. Goes right back to pretty much everything that Diamond Press has been putting out for their Christmas uh, this season. Super cute, the little snowflakes, the colorway. I mean, look, the little penguins. <laughs> so cute, the little snowmen. Let it snow. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I am going to use these up. Okay, I did mention giving away, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to put stocking stuffers or things like that, something cute. Um, oh, my gosh these are gorgeous I just love this little you know spray and again uh, going back to all the different items they are bringing for the season beautiful the poinsettia oh my goodness the little <laughs> so this little gingerbread people uh, I just thought were adorable in the ephemera pack that they brought this time and so I'm really happy to see that we have lots of those in the little individual gingerbreads and the little oh my gosh you guys Cozy Christmas, Seasons Greetings, I mean, just my mind is already kind of thinking about all the fun things we can do with this. The little houses, again, all coordinating so nicely, 10 sheets of each, so I'm assuming there's 10 designs to make the 100, so we'll check these out. Merry Christmas, this I love, because um, I use up sentiments like this all the time, like <laughs> those will be used up very quickly. Uh, we have the little uh, Santa sleigh, of course I love, you know, putting this on an envelope whenever you send your card out, just you know, that added little bit, I mean, so cute. Oh, on an envelope too, maybe at the bottom put like the little trees, little houses, super cute. Oh yes, so we have the trucks, our vintage trucks here uh, with the two different um, vantage points there the little birdie that I keep saying maybe it's a partridge I don't know I don't know why I could try to guess look at oh my gosh and you know you can get inspo from this for coloring your own stamps I know um, this little guy was in the um, stamps that I recently reviewed for the mega bundle or just you know individual items and he looks just like that and you can kind of he's got like a little bit of a tan uh, colored beard really cute I like that it's like an ecru color Ooh, letters okay so we have this one's more we can see is like a block alpha and this one, I guess that'd be sans serif because it doesn't have like these little serifs, these little things. Um, but this one has more of that typical look like a typewriter would have. And then we have it in black. Okay, so let me see. So we have red, black, uh, green, the typical look of like type, black. And I don't know if you can tell, these are a different style, even though they look similar because of like the little lines, the little serifs here. But... If you look, these are skinny and kind of like tall, where these are a little bit shorter. I will try to measure them. I'm assuming they're like an, I would say an inch or so, but that's the whole color. It's a little bit smaller than an inch tall. Yeah, that one's like three quarters or so. In black lettering, ooh, a cursive font. It's like lowercase. Now, of course, some of these are bigger, but you know what I'm saying, when you're looking at this, I would say that one's probably like a half inch. And then this light blue, um, not so much block like this one, it's kind of soft around the edges. My goodness, lovely, lovely sticker pack. And then the next one I'm going to show you um, is not Christmas related. It's called Dream Big Sticker Pack. And this one... 
I mean, you guys. How adorable. Pop those on ultra paper clips, hidden ultra paper clip. Just pop it in your journal or however. Oh my gosh. Again, I believe there's 10 of each. So this one, a little more springy, just floral and beautiful. That's what I'm seeing. I mean, look at the colorway on this. So cute. Good size. I don't know if you can tell by my hand, but really nice size. The little birdies. And then look at this little one. So cute. And then this is just the florals. Again, you can, you know, as you place them, make another little spray yourself with the, the different little sprigs in the background, some on top, however you want to do that. And, I mean, we'll play with these in just a bit, but I'm sure people want to know about how, how large the outside portion of that is. It gives you an idea of the little white rim that these have. Edge, I suppose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is a set. Oh, look at the lemons. <laughs> but we have the little clouds, a, a, the bike, camera, a nice size rainbow. I mean, my goodness. Look at the bows. Just on the back of your envelope. Just pop a little bow, you know? Oh, my gosh. Super cute. <laughs> now I'm taking back the giving them away. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. So nice labels. You can definitely stamp on them. Just beautiful colorway. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, you guys scrapbooking I can see just putting how adorable would that be under a picture or just like on the side of a picture or on top of it and then we have some lettering so this is more of a coral color and hopefully you can kind of see it's kind of rounded Oot. like the way it's bent where this one's that block alpha and then the lighter pink color and this is like a minty green with like a thicker you know I don't know the name of this font but that one where it looks thicker on here I want to say like Broadway but um, so pretty Kind of a kind of a more of a pistachio green. It's not so minty. It's a little bit deeper. The little lemon yellow, a little deeper than lemon yellow. Look at that again with that thick on the sides there with the serifs, like a typical type. And then this one is kind of rounded. Not like this one though. See how this one's kind of like playful. This one has uh, a roundness to it, but it's a little bit different from that first one. And a light blue. So pretty. And as far as how many and all those things, I mean, I'm assuming they're the same, but of course the link will tell you all the information as far as what's in what. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, okay. Let's check these guys out. So we're, we're going to play with all these things. I'm not just going to show them to you, but I do want to show you the Dime Press Outline and Glitter Marker Kit. Oh, look at the box. That's cute. Very cute. Oh, it feels nice and sturdy too. That's, I love that. What a nice presentation, you know? So to activate the markers, you definitely are going to shake them and then just get them primed. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, and this is to store the markers. When you're ready to store the pens, scribble on scratch paper to use up extra ink from the nib and reservoir. Ink will start to become patchy. Place cap on until it clicks. So they're basically saying just to get, like, whatever you can out of the, the nib. And we'll talk about why, you know, you might think, okay, that's interesting. These are a little bit special. <laughs> so, um... When you write with them, do you guys remember in the 80s we had those like metallic pens and you write and it makes that cool metallic look but it also has color? So we have red, orange, yellow, you know, green, turquoise, fuchsia, we'll go through those. Those are the outline markers and the glitter markers are um, these colors here. But we're going to try them out so let's see that. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look, I mean this is good stuff. Make your mark. Diamond press. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is... <sighs> This is really adorable. <laughs> this is really adorable. And I wonder if you can probably, yep. Yeah, yeah, so you can just put that and it'll stand up for you. Um, you know, I put it at the right angle because if you put it a little bit too, it'll do that, right? So you want to put it pretty pitched, <laughs> like right behind there. Really, really, really cute. I'm going to put this behind here just because I'm going to mess with it. I don't want to push it too hard. But um, again, we're going to try these out. So in the front, I see all these glitter pens. Let's check this out. Very interesting tip. It's kind of like like a hard plastic, but it also has like little ridges. So I don't want to mess with it too much. Again, you're going to, want to shake it, uh, depress marker at several points on scrap paper to saturate it, and then that's it. So I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. I'm just gonna grab a piece of scratch paper just to see. So these are the glittery ones. 
So now I'm just going to press, press, press. And this is what you do with any of these kind of glittery metallic. Ooh, it worked really fast. <laughs> wow. So this isn't the heaviest weight cardstock. Actually, I used it because it's very thin. And I can barely see there. I don't know if you can see that. But that's pretty great. Look at the shine. And it has no odor. In case you're wondering, because I know sometimes maybe the metallic ones that we'll try them in a minute, but I remember back in the day they used to smell um, kind of like a like a sharpie, I guess, you know. Wow, look at that. So what they're saying is when you're done, don't keep pumping it. Just use it up until it gets dry, which <laughs> you want to actually just use it, use it, because I mean that has a lot loaded in there already. And then let's see. Okay, well this one's actually kind of a similar color. Maybe not. <laughs> they look similar, but this one's a little more pink. I'm just going to give it a good shake. Oh. And this one has like a felt kind of firm tip. If you have any kind of uh, acrylic markers or things like that, they have a very familiar similar tip. So again, you're just kind of pushing up and down. Hope you can kind of see that. And once you start seeing the ink kind of flooding in, I can see it's already starting. You don't have to keep pushing. I mean, just till it gets there obviously until you start writing with it and if you just wait it'll start leaching in there either way oh wow this is totally different so this one does have a scent but it smells like soap <laughs> it smells like a soap instead of smelling like a caustic kind of thing you know um, it definitely does come through the back I expected that because that's normal what these kind of markers do but yeah I'm really surprised it doesn't have that kind of sharpie gasoline kind of scent and then if you look there's that silver and then the outline has the color the silver has a little bit of the color too though oh yeah we're definitely gonna play with these really cute I love the presentation this is really really fun all right so what I'm gonna do is put these up again we're gonna play with these in just a minute I'm just kind of showing you some of the items but um, there are all the different colors there for the first row actually I'll just take these out so we can see them again those are the glittery markers they both have a very metallic look to them but they're just different you know where this one's super shiny and this one's more of the glittery shimmer to it and then hopefully you can kind of see the colors a little bit so pretty oh the purple I can't wait to use that and then these guys let me try to turn them a little bit so you can see more of the color this is like a minty green. Interesting. Silver. This is like a blue. This is more of a gunmetal. Um, it looks a little bit different in these because of the type of marker that it is. We have purple, beautiful pink, more of a fuchsia, and then the one we just used. It's kind of like a champagne, a little deeper than that. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let me um, open this up. This is uh, a wood veneer kit. Okay, so let's open this guy up. Oh, I thought I opened it <laughs> completely, but not quite. Oh my goodness, this is such a good size. I mean, obviously the box is uh, a large box, but I didn't I didn't know what to expect inside here. Oh my gosh, let's open this up. Okay, just lots of fun little uh, accessory bits that we can add here and there. Um, <laughs> we have a little static cling here. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ah, they smell so good. You know, it has that little, like, wood kind of laser, I guess, etched smell. Um, okay, so the box itself is definitely reusable. It's also made out of, like, the same kind of, like, balsa wood kind of stuff. You know? But if you look, I mean, it's all wood. This is not, like, a cardboard or anything like that. So that's really cool, because you can make, like, a little thing in this, you know, when you want to use that. Uh, arrow, little hearts, little star bits. These are really pretty. Just pop them here and there. Oh, man. Really pretty in a traveler's notebook. We have our little um, butterfly. Just a little bit there. How funny. I can pop that out. But a little bit of the um, wood. So cute. Ah, it smells so good. Definitely has um, that look. Like even here, you know, you can see that little browning, which makes it look really awesome. Uh, we have some flowers here. I believe they're the same. Yeah. I know one of the swaps, one of the gals had sent something like this and she had colored it. And I thought, oh, that's really pretty. So maybe some ink or 
paint, however you want to do that. Love. Hello. Little wood frames. And look at this one. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, so pretty. I just, <laughs> the smell, they smell so good. And one other thing I think I want to go ahead and include with these guys because um, it's just a lot of fun kind of mix and match and just add them here and there is the Dime Press Mega Stamp Kit. Now this is, yes, <laughs> I you can see this. It's weighty, it's a big set of stamps. Let me get these out of here, sorry. Wow, okay, let me open this up here. The reason I'm doing this in this video is because I feel like, you know, throughout the whole year, all these different little things we can play with and add here and there. And we have our stamps. So these are all autumn. These are all St. Patrick's Day. These are Christmas and winter. Fourth of July and birthday. And Mother's Day, Father's Day graduation. So let's start with these guys right here. And we'll see kind of what we're looking at. You know. Look at all the little envelopes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to take me a minute to show you all the different sentiments. Let me put that there. And you know what? Let's put this on here. Hearts, nice size. Look at this. For the background, or do an embossing and then put some color over that. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm trying to go in the right order. You are the best. Thank you for being in my life. I mean, these are pretty nice um, generic kind of sentiments, those there. I'm so lucky to have you. Wishing you a pot of gold and all the joy your heart can hold. Of course, that's going into St. Patrick's Day type stuff. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> His little tiny body. So cute. Have a lucky day. And then to know you have a lucky little pot of gold. Rainbow, of course. Good luck. St. Patrick's Day. Like a horseshoe there. Fun little things with the um, four leaf clover, clover and then just a regular clover here. Four leaf clover, because that's that one. Now let's go into, I guess, Mother's Day? <laughs> Trying to think of an order that may. I should know when Mother's Day is, shouldn't I? All right, let's see. Here we go. Because we have July over there. All right, so we have Father's Day with the uh, wood grain uh, lettering which you can totally like stamp this in a light color and stamp that over it if you want that's really cool layering there uh, I'm as lucky as can be for the world's best dad belongs to me oh that's a sweet little mustache <laughs> love it oh this one has tools and you know uh, this is how I don't know anything I was gonna say hockey <laughs> sticks <laughs> uh, golf club uh, and then the tools and all those kinds of things a father is someone to look up to no matter how tall you grow oh that's so sweet little fish on the line there oh I love that just a little design of that and the little graduation cap <laughs> the little hands uh, numbers class of so you can do that the tassel was worth the hassle <laughs> that's really cute and then we have our little like Mother's Day bouquets and things. We have watering can, beautiful bouquet. You can kind of pop these little guys on there. So it has like design. A lot of fun designs kind of built in here, right? Like I said, the other one you want to layer it. This one you might want to uh, stamp on top of the little watering can. You have different ways to do that. And then a mother is like a flower, each one beautiful and unique. That's so sweet. All I am, I owe it to my mother and mom. And then some really sweet, delicate, you know, for you. Uh, love you. You're the best. Really, really sweet sentiments there. Now let's go to 4th of July. I love the way the package. This is really cool. So we know what we're looking at here. Okay. Wow, check that out. Oh, a little wagon. Just so sweet. Little balloons and your pinwheel. Uh, grateful, thankful, blessed, land of the free, home of the brave, yay, 4th of July, and of course the USA stamp. Look at this one. Really sweet. So this one's more like, you know, just for any day really, but you have the happy birthday, hip hip hooray. Um, some sentiments there about America there. We have <laughs> the little firework, or so cute. I guess that'd be a firecracker, wouldn't it? Look at, love that. 
Really sweet to do a nice background with these just kind of stamped all over again with the um, embossing or something like that. Firework kisses and 4th of July wishes. Have a popping 4th of July. It's really sweet. Some things just get better with age. And you are definitely one of them. Little birthday cake. Let's celebrate. Happiest of birthday wishes. Look at this. I mean, just a nice size. Super cool. And another one with uh, most of, well, some Americana stuff. And then, like, gifts and the balloons and wish big and a flag. So cute. Let's go autumn. Oh, this one has a lot of sentiments. That's really nice. I had mentioned recently, I think I don't have a lot of sentiments for this kind of... Uh, for Thanksgiving time. Uh, may God's blessings fall upon you like the leaves of autumn. So pretty, thanks. A bushel for the best teacher. Oh, that's awesome. And then when I count my blessings, I count you twice. I mean, there's just lots of lovely things here. My heart is grateful for you. Look at the little pumpkin. And the, oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> I was talking about the pumpkin <laughs> and the little square here. But look at the little scarecrow. He's so sweet and nice size. Again, just stamp them, you know, do a little maybe leaves here and there. Got your little apples and just color them in and you have a nice card front for always making me smile. Of course, that coordinates back to like, thanks, you know, those kind of things. I'm so thankful for you, for you. You are awesome all the way to your core. <laughs> we have the little apples. We have the um, pumpkin. And then happy fall. And little sprigs, again, apples, a little bushel, right? We have the acorn, autumn. I love this kind of stamp, nice and big, and just do a little modeling with it, like with your colors, with your inks. Thank you. Uh, thankful. Autumn greetings. Give thanks. Hello, autumn. And... Oh, where am I opening this? <laughs> The same as the U.S., but it was hard to see. Okay, so these are Christmas ones here. Oh, did this come with instructions too? Oh yeah, because like I said, some of the things are interactive, right? Or like where you can change things out. So, um, oh, so cute. And this is just in time because we're going to look at the Christmas one. Uh, the little head, the body to, make, to build a snowman. Basically, pick a face, the little arms and legs and the accessories. That is too cute. Uh, build a phrase here. Again, the badge with the different things you can pop in there. Oh, even better. Look at that with the fireworks, how you can dress them up. Oh, that is adorable. So the little... Um, uh, cri uh, gift stamps fit, fit in there. I was going to say Christmas gifts. I guess they could be if you want to dress up that way. And look, yeah, the little hands with the hats. <laughs> Again, so cute. Again, we talked about that one there and then just putting those letters together again with the wood grain. So we talked about those things. Oh, and how to make like a little four leaf clover with the hearts. And I did see that that one did have uh, the little four leaf clover and three leaf clover had a little like veining. So cute. Okay, well, good thing we, I mean, we would have figured it out <laughs> right here. You can put your little snowman together. How adorable. My goodness. And that's kind of why I'm showing it in this video because I know there's so much that it's going to be impossible for me to get to everything, but at least show them to you. You can have a nice idea of the size and we'll try some of these things out. Just a little smattering here and there. Four inches tall on that one. She's a little bit, little, little smaller, three and a half inches. Super cute. Lovely uh, snowflakes. Love that, the size of them to some smaller ones. Really nice images to color in too. Uh, winter wishes, holiday magic, brr. <laughs> I always like that one. Uh, big, big uh, snowflake here. Look at that. Uh, really nice size and the holly too. Love it. Little trees, little you know background stuff. We have like a little skyline or you know clouds. Let it snow or maybe cl snow. Do you think that's maybe that's a snow thing, right? If you stamp that and do a little something. Merry Christmas, let it snow, merry and bright. You can use it however you like. Happy holidays. And then all these sentiments here. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Winter wishes. Let it snow. Baby, it's cold outside. Snow buddies are the best. And what I should have started off with uh, before I got to them, because, you know, there is a review tutorial. Uh, these are acrylic stamps. So some stamps are made of photopolymer. Some are made from acrylic material. I, for one, appreciate the acrylic material that um, Diamond Press uses because it keeps, you know, their pricing pretty, pretty great. <laughs> and um, it's a little firmer than some acrylic materials. Some acrylic materials are really soft and you can give them a squish and you might get some ghosting. So I always tell you, even when you use any acrylic stamp, just to be careful when you go to stamp it, you know, you don't want to press too, too, too hard because you might squeeze the material, but theirs is a lot firmer. So 
Very good. All right, let's uh, think about what we want to put together and then we'll get started. Okay, guys, so one of the fun things I want to try out with, um, you know, all these different special things we have here that we can just add on um, is maybe a hidden altered paper clip in a little bit different style. So what I'm going to do is cut down these scraps of paper. Um, and when I come back, I'll tell you what the sizes are and we'll get that going. But I'm going to do a little background stamping. Uh, we're going to add maybe a little bit of lace that I have here. We'll add some of the new stickers. We'll use some of the glitter pens and uh, some of the little wood veneer pieces. So let me cut this down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these two pieces here and these are a little bit funny measurements, but again, you can just play with this. I mean, they're just whatever you want with these hidden altar paper clips. So this one's six inches by two inches. And this one is just over six inches, like six and an eighth by two and a quarter inch and I'm gonna corner around them you can corner around them later or before however you want to do that but I'm just gonna go ahead and corner around the very um, bottoms of these guys this is kind of smallish I will still do half an inch quarter around I was wondering if I should do like a quarter inch instead but we'll do that and we're just gonna fold these in half now this one's gonna go underneath and I'm not gonna do too much with it other than fold it right in half and we could have corn around it while it was folded too you don't have to do and you would have just done it twice <laughs> just fold it and corn around um, and then we need a paper clip so that's just ready to go and really any size paper clip will work because it doesn't matter if it's longer or shorter it'll, it'll just work and then on this one I'm gonna do a little stamping first and then we'll fold it in half so let me grab this and I'm just going to do some faint stamping on the back of it. And I grabbed this set from the like Mother's Day kind of um, set there. And there's, you know, lots of ways we can stamp. I just want like background. So I think this one will be sweet. This little vine. And I will get a larger thing. But I'm going to do this really in a fun way. So it's just to create a background. Very light color. Distress ink. Oh, and it has stitching. Look at the little design. I was going to do some stitching with the um, markers, so that's even better. Maybe up that side, and maybe going the opposite direction over here. Again, just... Nope. <laughs> kind of fun there. Nothing particular, just adding a little something. Maybe even down here a little more. Okay, and let me clean up and then we're going to continue on with this. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of our pens here. And you know, you can do this in black if you want to sh stand out a little bit more. I kind of want it to be a little more fade into the background. So I'm going to take like maybe this one. It's like gold. Okay, just want to make sure it wasn't the one I tried out before because I wanted to show you a little bit more. Let me grab a scrap piece of paper here. And again, we're gonna I already give it a shake just to get everything going in there. And we're just pushing in, it's already ready to go with just a couple pushes. So cute. And so this kind of thing, I like to kind of just make lines and then do another set of lines, or I like to do lines with little dots. So what I mean by that is like to go like this and do some kind of fun stuff like that. Or you can just make little stitch marks, you know or just a line and then you come back around and then when you come back around do it again but do it a little bit differently you know a little messy <laughs> so I think I'll do my little dash lines like I like to do where it's kinda like this a little dot dot okay and I'm just gonna go around the whole thing oh I was gonna say you know they dry pretty quick because my finger went over that and it didn't smear or anything so good to know And I'll just keep doing that. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go around the whole edge. Okay, so there's that. I think what I will do is a little bit distressing on the edges of this guy. And I will go ahead and distress this one too, a little bit. Okay, so I'll just go around and do that. Okay, and I'm just going to take this. Now this one's a little bit thicker weight, so I think I'm going to score it before I fold it. 
at three inches. And we're gonna make this cute little hidden ultra paper clip and then we will um, work on a card. Some of these fun things. There we go. And all we're gonna do, since we have that, so this is ready to go. This is the basic mechanism. As you can see, you don't see the, the paper clip in there and it will clip onto whatever it is, just like anything else. And then now we're gonna decorate it though. So this is gonna go on top of that. And then we're gonna use some of our stickers and things to decorate it. So all we're gonna do is glue this on. And all that entails is putting glue definitely. So this is interesting because I'm overlapping one over the other. So don't get too close to the edge where I normally I tell you guys put the glue all the way down to the edge. This time we're just doing a little bit, a little bit different. And I think I pushed it a little bit on that one, but that's okay. There we go. So this one's a little bit different where I'm just using the two pieces to go ahead and decorate it instead of adding another piece on top slightly different and I just hold on to it till it's holding on and get rid of that extra glue that's there and on this side same thing just pop glue you can put it on this th side if you would prefer just so you know exactly where you're putting it okay and I'm just gonna hold that down also and then we'll get to um, decorating Okay guys, so I grabbed some of the sticker sets, I grabbed some of the little um, wood veneer pieces. And again, you can color these, you can ink them up, you can do whatever you like. Um, I think I'm going to make this so it goes this way instead of like up and down, so it'll be on the side of something. And I want to use the little bike. Now you can definitely come in and distress around the edges of this. These are very traditional stickers, they're not like chipboard stickers, they're more just like a regular sticker, but you can come in, you know, add a little inking on them. Of course, I'm placing it right on my hand, <laughs> just to give myself some stability behind them, but... Oh my gosh, so cute. I mean, that'd be adorable just like that. What I'm going to do is... Maybe add a little pink heart. And a little distressing on that too. <laughs> and then over here I wanted to add the little wooden heart. That will be adorable. And I'm just going to place it right on there. Something else there. And of course it's hot glue so it'll set up really quick, but what I'm going to do is let it set up for just a minute and then I'll turn it over and we'll decorate the other side too. With the lighting there for this side, I'm going to take this flower sprig. I was going to pop in a little bit of lace, but I think we're good. So I'm just going to do that. Just move that little extra bit that's right there. <laughs> there we go. And, and just a little bit of inking. Oh, don't stick down too. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of inking, and I think I'm going to pop that right in here. Let me see, because I want to put the little wood piece, I think, like in here too. Yeah, that's great. And you can use regular glue. I just wanted it to set up quickly, so that's why I'm using hot glue. But you can definitely use just a nice all-purpose glue. That little guy there. And maybe a butterfly. Oh, look at this one. It's perfectly made to go in that direction, so let's go with that one. And again, a little bit of distressing. And just some sweet pieces to make a beautiful hidden altered paper clip and let's say this was your journal or anything or you want to give some stickers away just like this you can put them on there and there you go cute little gift with a cute little altered paper clip on there love it 
All right, let's work on a card. Guys, for this card, I do need a background piece of paper I haven't chosen yet, but I have this piece of kind of like a heavyweight, kind of mixed media type card. It's really um, alcohol ink marker paper, but it's super thick, so I do like to use it for different mixed media things. But um, the reason I'm saying that is because we're going to do a little embossing too on the top, and we'll play with that in just a minute. But we're going to build a snowman, so... Um, Kind of similar to what you would do with the uh, Mother's Day set if you wanted to, you know, use the little pail and then, you know, do your flowers or however. So, or like the one with the graduation throwing the hats, which is super cute. Um, so I'm just going to put this down here. And we're just going to start now. Let me see. Yeah, so I was looking for it. It just says build a snowman. So, you know, you're going to put him together in whatever order. I think I'm going to do the body first and then put the head on. The body is larger, so um, we can go with that. Uh, let's see here. So there's the two and then the one. I'm going to go with the one that's like two. And there's a little guy. Like, this one looks like more like a young kid, doesn't he, compared to, like, the, the bigger hat. I'm going to go with just the one guy. And I'm going to do the traditional one with the hat, I think. So, we're just going to start stamping. So I'm just going to place them down here, and I'm going to do some snowflakes in the top area. So let's pick this guy up. And this one I'm not super concerned with bubbles because it's just the lines, so you don't need, you know, that whole background or like a, for that to work, really. So I'm using alcohol ink proof ink in the form of hybrid ink. And I'll just pop that down. I was going to say, I probably do that too much. <laughs> but there we go. And then his little head. I'm going to put this other one over here. And, you know, you can do whatever you like. Oh, you want to put his little head kind of like at a little angle. I think that'll be cute. Let's do that. And I'll go with black ink on this one, too. I think that's lined up pretty good. At least it looks like it is over here. I can't... Oh, there we go. Pretty good. Um, and then we have the face, the arms and legs, and accessories. So I think what I'm going to do is his face also in black ink. Oh, look at that one. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's, oh, I just love the way he's so happy in this one. Again, I'm going to do a little angle because I angled his head. <laughs> How cute does that look already, just looking at it through here? Adorable. And I think I'm going to do little stick arms. And then you can mix and match. Like these two are the same. They're kind of straight. But this one, maybe you want one crooked and one straight. Or maybe you want to use the one with the gloves. You know, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, like let's say he's saying hi in this one. And then this other arm is straight. I mean, you can mix and match however you like. You can put them around the edges. Oh, not there. <laughs> around the edges. Bring them in. I mean, whatever it is that you want to do. I think I'll put them in a little bit. And I'm going to... Stamp those in brown, just so they're already done and they look like wood. Well, they are a thin line. Like, this one, you would color in. But it's a thin line anyway, so if you did it in black, it would just be black, and that's fine, too. But I'll just add a little color with the brown. <laughs> Put his little arms in there. Or her. Oh, my gosh. It's a very deep brown, but it's definitely different than the black. And then, should we have... Buttons. Let me not stamp back in this. Um, yeah. Oh, he has a little corn cob pipe. <laughs> or a little pipe, should I say? Look at that. You can pop it in there. <laughs> Love it. Um, buttons that are already colored or buttons that you want to color in. Let's go for this one. And let's make them... Uh, well, should we make them black or red? I was going to make them red just for fun. Let's make them red. Why not? And that one's already colored for you, so if you want to just do that, because it's already like a complete opaque button. So cute. 
Okay, so that's all set up. What I'm going to do is clean off everything and then let that set up so we can do a little um, alcohol uh, ink. And we'll go from there. So I'm just going to take a minute. I just put a little scrap paper back here to just color them in. And again, whenever it's snow or something like that, I just take like the lightest blue that I might find. This one has a little bit, a little bit much blue, but that's okay. Just kind of go around the edges. This is getting more cartoony looking because the blue is a little bit deeper than I normally would use. Kind of fade off to there. You know, that's good. I'm not going to go too too much with that one. And then. Um, for the hat, you know, usually I would like to put a black hat on top hat. That sash can also be like a different, you know, red, whatever it is that you want to do, or whatever color. So I'm using ash, and I start with, oop, start with ash light, and I went right to medium, but that's okay, because we're going to really build this one up anyway. So I go into here, and then here, go into the darkest one. So we're giving the illusion of like a black hat a lot in there, and then quite a bit in here. Then we can go into medium, and again, just really pulling that out. And right into here, and then light, kind of just in this middle section again, just to blend that through, and back in here. And then the little red berries, little green leaves. Maybe I'll do this in black. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that one. And that's it. Oh, he has a little orange nose too. I grabbed an orange, just a little bit. Marmalade. I'm not going to do too much. And maybe I'll let that set up and then come back in here just to give it a little bit more color. With the same pen, it gives it still like a shadow look. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on the top there with... Um, some watermark ink. You can use white. You can use whatever you like. I'm just going to do that so it does a resist. So when we add in some ink blending in the background, it'll resist it and the white will show through. So I'm um, just going to grab some random guys. Now if you want to rub that with your embossing buddy, like that little pack that keeps things from um, sticking, making static, go ahead. I can't find mine. I just took a quick look. That's okay. So I'm just going to grab, and this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to make it look really kind of distressy anyway. So, you know, I'm going to stamp off the edge here. And hopefully you can see that. There you go. And that's how you know that's good to go. <laughs> so there's that one. And you can use the same one over and over a few times or whatever, but I'm just going to go in like this guy. Maybe put him again over here. Really juicy. Maybe put this one here. I think that's probably the room I have for. Um, I didn't say at the beginning, I just realized this piece of paper is three and three quarters by five, so I'm gonna mat it up really well. So that's kind of smaller than I normally do. Usually I make my paper a little bit bigger. I think that's good. Maybe another one off the edge over here. Maybe the same one. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to take some clear embossing ink. And I'll just put it on that. And try to really stick to the area where I actually did some embossing instead of like getting it all over the card. So if you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. And I always do this over a coffee filter because I can just take it and pour it right back into the little jar. And I'll hit this with my heat tool until it sets up. And basically, once as soon as it turns shiny, kind of clear, just move on to the next area. You don't want to just keep your heat tool in one area because it'll just basically melt away <laughs> to like nothing. So we'll start here, and then as soon as it gets shiny, I'll move on to the next area. Just finish that up. Usually let them sit for a little bit, but I think it's okay to get started. Just making sure. Maybe a little bit more right here. <laughs> I can see where it's still a little powdery there. And right there. 
Again, it's better to go less and move on than to do too much and then it just like melts away. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because it's like plastic. You would think it would stay there, but it kind of like goes through the paper. So I'm just going to use a little Distress Ink. And just start off the edge. Come in here. And there we go. Oh, you can see that pop all of a sudden. Oh, maybe it's hard to see. Let me get a little bit closer. As soon as we get that blue in there, the little snowflakes just pop. Oh, so pretty. And maybe a little bit more up here. And then what I'm going to do is basically just take this all around the edge because, you know, we need to sit our snowman down and something. Just make it look like there's some foreground there. He's so happy in his little snowy. And usually what I do um, is take a paper towel and I'll go over I don't have one sitting in front of me right now. I'll grab it in just a second. But basically I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to clean up. And then I just take a paper towel and just rub over this because what it does is just takes any little bit of ink that might be kind of sticking to your embossing off and then it'll just be that much brighter. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so just a few finishing touches. Um, I'm going to put the Let It Snow sentiment right on this, I think. So I grabbed some stays on because um, if I put it here, it might, you know, stamp on like the um, kind of like rubbery feel of the embossing powder. And I don't want that to um, happen because then it won't stick there, right? But if we use stays on, it should theoretically stick on because it stays on ink. <laughs> so I'm going to do the, I was going to say take and do, I said to the, let it snow. I mean, look at this little winter wishes. Oh, that's really sweet too. Oh, I'm going to pop this on here just above him. And I'm just eyeballing that left to right maybe a little bit more down this way something like that and just some black stays on oh I haven't used this in a while stays on is interesting um, to me it smells like cherry you know <laughs> if you were to buy like a jar of cherries that you might want to pop on a sundae maraschino cherries Things we'll call maraschino cherries. Anyway, um, that's just how it smells. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and let's see if we don't have to do this twice. Yeah, and see, again, it stays on, so it's stamped right on that kind of plastic you feel and just stays there. So I'm good with that. Um, and then, so that's going to finish that little guy up. Um, I grabbed one of the embossing folders, the Snowflakes embossing folder from mydiamondpress.com and I grabbed a piece of blue cardstock and this one I cut it just so it mat right inside of the A2 size card so it's 4 and 8 by 5 and 3 8 and I'm just going to run this through um, the marquee just to give some texture. It's not going to show that much because this, you know, it has a little bit of an edge but you'll see a little bit of something here and there so I'm going to run this through and I'll be right back. Okay. So pretty. Like I said, it'll probably see on the top and the bottom more than anything else. And then I just have a standard A2 size card base here that we'll just start layering this up. And I just have one other little thing I want to top this off with. So I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to glue this down on top of this one. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I think we're nice and straight. And one last thing on here, I was going to put this little guy in the corner and check this out. Um, I know they are having a Christmas one which has like snowflakes and things that you can definitely use, but how cute would this be? Look at this. If I had just put the wording maybe over here on the side or somewhere else. Look at that. How cute. Even this little guy. <laughs> but like I said, so this is the Everyday uh, Wood Veneer and they do have a Christmas one um, edition might be called holiday. I'm just going to take this and very lightly, I don't want to mess up like my brush tip, but at the same time, this is pretty smooth. I'm just going to go over this and in the direction of the grain, it doesn't really matter. I guess you can go in the opposite direction, but I, like I said, I don't want to mess up my brush tip. So we're just doing this gently and in a way that's not going to fray it. Just a little bit here and there. 
And, you know, you can take another color and darken it up and do whatever you like, or like even going over it again is adding more color. I get to look a little fun. And I'm just going to put some glue on the back of this guy. It is a craft glue. Again, if you want to use craft glue, you can use, you know, whatever that you like. I think I'm just going to place it right here. And you can place one on the other side too. I don't know why. For me, it just feels more artsy when you do like one, but you can place one on this side. You can put one in the top corner. Whatever it is that you like. I'm just going to place that one there. And, okay. and one last thing I want to do with this one is add some of the metallic markers. So this is the metallic one where the other one has a more glittery look. They're both metallic, but the other one's glittery where this one's more of that outline metallic. And this it's just like a blue shade. And so I'm going to get this one going. Again, just pump, pump, pump till you see the color come down. Doesn't take too long, as you can see. And I want to add some little dots here and there. Kind of within this top part of the snow. I think that's really okay. sweet. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to take that and just sprinkle little dots here and there. How cute. Oh my goodness. Now I would put it on the actual embossing, but I don't know what effect that would give, so I'm just going to keep plate safe and just pop it here and there. How cute! So again, we can write with these, we can add you know, texture and design elements with it. And look at that! You guys. So cute. Okay. And so I am... Alright, so thank you so much Dime Press for Sandy Designs for a review. So we tried out some of these little extra bits and bobs and add them here and there to do different projects. Look how sweet that is. And then, um, you know, our card here. So lots of fun uh, items that you can just add on just to make your projects that more, much more special. So thank you so much Dime Press for Sandy Designs for a review. That stamp set is a mega stamp set. It definitely covers the whole year. Um, I'll have links for everything that's available in the description box. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.